The people of Bridgeport, Connecticut, will cast their ballots for mayor knowing there's a chance the results won't actually settle the election. A judge last week tossed out the results of the Democratic mayoral primary and ordered a new one, citing mishandled absentee ballots. I in his ruling, Superior Court Judge William Clark addressed the incongruity by saying he lacked the authority to postpone or cancel Tuesday's general election, however, he said he had seen enough evidence of malfeasance. To order a rerun of a September 12 primary in which incumbent Mayor Joe Gannon defeated challenger John Gomez by 251 votes out of 8,173 cast. Clark's order for the new primary also fueled skepticism about the security of U.S. elections, as well as conspiracy theories involving the 2020 presidential election. The videos uh, show a uh, an individual who is um, a high-ranking member of the Democratic City Committee. Uh, and also who uh, works for the, uh, the city of Bridgeport, uh, apparently uh, stuffing ballots into the uh, drop boxes. The law in Connecticut says that if someone is doing an absentee ballot, which those ballots supposedly were, then they can only be dropped off in a drop box or in person, you know, at a polling place by a, uh, a family member or, uh, e or even a police officer. And so this individual was neither of those things. She was a campaign worker, obviously, doing it. And this was uh, obviously in violation of the law. It took a long time for this judge to come to this decision. The, the, um, but he really finally concluded that there was just so much evidence of corruption that he called for a new primary. So today we have a general election. Mr. Gomes, who believes that he was cheated in the, uh, in the primary, has decided to run as an as a candidate of the independent party and so he is challenging the democratic mayor that is mayor joe gannam you you do have like in the last presidential election many people claiming that the election was fraudulent Donald Trump and people making those claims, of course, you know, and so maybe people might say, ah, you see, it's going on here too. But um, I, I, I take issue with that. I don't, I don't think that Bridgeport is, uh, is common. I don't. If in in fact, Joe Gannon wins again today and Gomes loses, then we go to a primary. Uh, I, one thing that I would, I, would, I would say is here we go again. Because, wow, you know, after all this, if the mayor wins, I know that Gomes is going to say he did so through nefarious illegal means. And then when we have a primary, it will be once again scrutinized and there'll be accusations and challenges. So the whole story is not over.